When people discuss magic mushrooms, they're most often talking about psilocybin-containing species. These mushrooms work on 5-HT, or serotonergic receptors, in your brain, just like the other classical psychedelics, such as LSD and DMT. But there is an entirely separate variety of hallucinogenic mushrooms as well. Mushrooms like Amanita muscaria and the similar Amanita pantherina contain ibutenic acid and the GABA agonist Musimol, a sedative hypnotic and hallucinogenic compound. These Amanita, or fly agaric mushrooms, have a well-documented history of use in Siberia. There is increasing support for the theory that the modern Santa Claus myth and Christmas traditions in general evolved out of Siberian shamanic rituals. Once again, Terence McKenna put it best. An example of how a very ancient, uh, how a very ancient folkway can be incorporated into our culture without us even realizing it uh, and is provided by discussing Amanita muscaria. If you go to the Encyclopedia Britannica and you look up Santa Claus, they'll tell you that it has to do with Saint Nicholas and it got started in the 11th century and it's a, but when you look at the Santa Claus story, it's a perfect uh, uh, mythologium to analyze from this point of view because look what's going on with Santa Claus. First of all, Santa Claus's colors are red and white, the colors of the Amanita muscaria, for sure. Santa Claus lives at the North Pole. What does this mean? It means that Santa Claus lives at the Axis Mundi, where Yggdrasil, the magic world ash of Welsh mythology, has uh, taken root. Santa Claus flies. This is what shamans do. Santa Claus is the master of the reindeer, the animal most associated with the Amanita muscaria. Santa Claus is aided in his work by troops of elves. And what is the work of Santa Claus? To build toys for children. Remember the DMT thing saying, look at this, look at this. Well, those were off-duty elves, clearly. Um, and and so, so here are all the motifs. And I believe that for children in our culture, that all the Chrysler stuff is not what Christmas is about. Christmas is about standing in front of the tree on Christmas morning with the gifts arrayed and the twinkling lights on. Well, that tree is the tree that the Amanita muscaria forms its symbiotic relationship to. It's always spruce or pine that it has a mycorrhizal relationship to. So the number of motifs relating Santa Claus to a cult of Amanita muscaria, there's almost nothing but relational motifs there. And yet, if you suggest this to people, they just back away in horror, you know. <laughs> what McKenna left out in this clip, though, is a very important property of Musimol. Unlike most drugs, Musimol is still active after being passed through the urine. Legend has it that shaman would sometimes drink the urine of reindeer, who had regularly consumed amanitas, as it was considered safer than eating the mushrooms directly, having been filtered through the reindeer's bladder to remove potentially hazardous toxins. With that said, there's considerable documented evidence of shaman preparing and consuming the mushrooms directly to interface with the spirit world. <laughs> 